guys, I'm so excited. Right, welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today you are here to watch our first ever Airbnb tour. Look at this gorgeous property behind me. We're here to tour the schoolhouse and we own Hereford. So, right, so this property is actually located five to 10 minutes walk from the city center. And let's go through all the stats, right? So the history of this property is that it actually used to be a schoolroom attached to the Victorian house next door. And it's been lovingly restored and converted into a two bedroom, two bathroom property. And the two bathrooms are actually ensuite bathrooms. Nice spacious proportions. I know it does look quite small on the outside, but it's actually like a TARDIS kind of um, formation. So it's narrow at the front and then it gets bigger as you explore the inside. I can't wait to show you more. And I'm gonna take you right along with us. This monochromatic facade, you know, it looks quite petite on the outside, but it's actually really big on the inside. So it's a two bedroom, two ensuite bathroom property. Plus there's a bonus downstairs toilet. Yes, and beautiful garden space, which we're gonna show you if you stick around for the tour. So anything else about the details? Obviously it is a live Airbnb property, so it's bookable. It's gonna be in the link in the description. But let's talk about the outside. You've got the striking black porch canopy and it goes all the way from here to here. This piece of frosted glass, you're gonna see why that is such a nice detail in a second. Everything is like this jet black color on the outside, including the windows, traditional windows. And then we've got that contrast with that beautiful render on the outside. I love the tiling. It's a bit of like a hint to what you're gonna see on the inside. And one thing that I absolutely love is the quality of the finishes. Stick around guys, and we're gonna show you the inside of the house. In fact, we're gonna do that right now, so come inside and let's start the tour. Welcome home and get nice and warm and cozy on this cold day. Okay, right, welcome. Welcome to, like I said, a real life Airbnb, aka a real life home. We're in the hallway and it's such a nice first impression. The colors, the hues, the tones, the lighting, I'm going to go through it all because unlike a show home, because it's a real house, everything here is what you get when you book this property. So the clothing, hooks, the wall art, it's all going to stay. So you don't have to worry. We can relax and go through the whole tour together. So let's start with what we're looking at. We're looking at this gorgeous porcelain tiling on the flooring that continues. And that's what we saw on the outside. And I like the little kind of nod between inside uh, well, the link between the inside and the outside. We've got our front door, it was black on the outside, it's white on the inside, and that frosted piece of glass, which I mentioned earlier, you can see it floods this whole space with so much light. There is storage in different parts of the property, and then, you know, you can see the ironmongery in hardware. You've got your stainless steel um, face plates, and then you've got your black hinges, your black handles, and then the kind of contemporary panel doors. So the first room I'm gonna talk about, wait, 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 actually, <laughs> I've just spotted something else, guys. So before we talk about the first room, let's talk about this tall ceiling. So like I told you, it looks smaller on the outside, but there's so much going for it on the inside. You've got the spotlights in a track kind of formation all the way there. So again, with the natural light and the artificial light, this space is really well filled with light. Room number one is over here. This is the downstairs toilet. That flooring continues all the way in. You've got the gorgeous basket kind of like woven pendant uh, light uh, lampshade by Nkuku, Nkuku. And then we've got also frosted, um, a frosted window there bringing in lots of light, frosted glass bringing in lots of light. We've got half height tiling all the way around in this kind of crackle glaze finish. And then it's a two piece suite, which is a toilet and a sink over there. A really good position for a downstairs toilet. And again, did you spot some decor pieces that you like? Comment below because it's here to stay and it's gonna be part of the house. Let's spin around, let's swap places, right? Okay, so. Right, now that we're introduced to the property, let's continue around. You've got this staircase, beautiful wooden staircase with this newel post there, and then the balustrade. 
all the way around. It's got an interesting shape. I really like that. And I like the wooden treads and the white painted, um, what are they called? The, the risers. Beautiful, beautiful. So you're seeing kind of the materiality. We've got natural materials, wood and metal. And yeah, let's go through past this gorgeous console into the living area, but not first without admiring this door. Now, don't you just love this detail? So it's, again, it's very monochromatic. We've got the black on white, and then they've got this kind of fluted detail with a glass, which also obscures the view. So you can't really look right in, but it then means that the lighting can be borrowed across the spaces. You've got the light from here going straight into the living room, and I'm gonna show you here what's what's gonna await you when you come into this space. Wow, okay guys, follow me, hello. Wow, 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 let me walk to the, kind of the furthest corner of the room for you. And here you are in your open plan, kitchen, dining, living area. Beautiful, beautiful, and the sun is just shining through. Did we mention there's a killer garden on this property? Absolutely amazing, can't wait. Let me first, go through this very methodically and talk you through the living space. So from this angle, you can see what you get in the living area. You've got a focal point done in this kind of sage green color, matte color. I love the lamps and the lighting and the decor. Again, you've got another window bringing in lots of natural light. Again, if you ever think, oh, little things like that don't make a difference, trust me, they really do. So you know, obviously the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. As it moves around the property, you've got that kind of like 180 experience of light flooding into this space, yes. So you've got your focal point over here with the TV, which has Netflix already on it, pre-installed, which is great. And that's very nice. In the cabinet, we've got board games there already set up for you. Little things like coasters give it such a homely feel. I love the decor again. Of course I love the decor. That's why we're touring it. We really, really are so happy to be able to show you this Airbnb property. The furniture, two armchairs and a large um, sofa there, very cozy, whilst bringing in that kind of Nordic influence mixed with a bit of like rustic themes. Um, but there's a lot of wood, a lot of natural materials. You've got your star cupboard there, which has a high chair in, ironing board, different amenities. And then let's move over into this space, which is our breakfast bar. Breakfast bar right now has four seats around it. And I think, yes, that's a great number. Obviously you could squeeze in a couple of extra chairs if you wanted to, but it's a perfect size and number of guests for this size of property. It's overhanging, so the worktop overhangs. Then you've got sockets underneath which have charging points. So you can have a USB charge points and your regular kind of, uh, is it 13 amp, um, 240 volt sockets under there, that's great. And then pendant lights above, again, creating that focal point and then isn't this impressive? You've got your extract fan, very beautiful. I love that kind of drop down modular bulkhead um, appearance to it. So now that we're in the kitchen area, I've just briefly talked about that side of the kitchen island. We've got an induction hob over here and the appliances by uh, Bosch as well. I was gonna say the appliances by Hobbs, Hobbs by Hobbs. <laughs> so the Hobbs are by um, Bosch. That's great. And then we've got storage all the way under here. And then I'm just wondering, should we walk, walk around the kitchen this way? Yep. So starting over here, we've got storage space. Again, you can see an iron there. You've got your first aid kit and amenities and then some keys. That's great. I love the detail in this. We will show you some shots of the kitchen close up so you can just admire kind of the high gloss white against this beautiful um, brass kind of inlaid recessed metal that kind of accentuates or accents all the parts of the kitchen. So leaving that area, now let's come into the kind of the prep space. We've got our brass kitchen sink by Capel, beautiful mixer tap, kind of perfectly matched together. And then don't you just love this tiling here again? We normally see worktops kind of being used to kind of form the upstand, but they've kind of created a whole wall to wall splash back here using this gorgeous green tiling. Again, there's so many gorgeous details and pieces of decor. You can definitely see that the owner has gone through a lot of 
you know, a, a great lens to really bring it all together. I love the brass wall lights. Again, a nod to the brass sink and the brass details. And then I love the clock there. Kettle, toaster, everything comes with this property. You can enjoy everything that you see here. You've got coffee, you've got coffee cafeteria, and then you've got the potted plant, cookery books, you know, things like that. I love that. Beautiful. Okay, so now moving around again. So it's completely handleless, by the way. So it's just very kind of intuitive. Grab that, you know, storage. You can just see. Great for entertaining, enjoying. So if you are in the area or you're looking to visit Hereford, this is a great place to be if you want to kind of just relax online with you and your fellow guests. We've got more integrated appliances here by Bosch, you know, double system there with a microwave oven and then you've got your regular oven there. And then here we've got our fridge freezer. See how spotlessly clean everything is. Samsung in a 70-30 arrangement, great. And then, don't you love this additional space? So that could potentially be like a wine store, a little bit of a decor area there. Just pop some things in there. So there, that is the kitchen area. And just in case you thought that was it, no, that's not it. I'm now gonna demonstrate to you the garden. Got, well, we're gonna start the garden tour. So let me open the bifolding door. So you do have the option to open it as a door like this. So hinged open, but now I'm gonna show you the bifold aspect of this door. Yeah, so bear with me. It's so easy to do. Just twist that, pop those in like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Bring that in with minimal effort as well. And like this. Guys, I'm barely touching these doors. Wow. Okay. First thing I want to mention is the transition from the inside to the outside. We've got the same tiling that we have on the inside, on the outside, which kind of kind of helps with that continuity and makes the space feel really big. We've got the linear threshold drain, which means that when it's rainy, all the water's gonna go in there, which is why I'm able to kind of walk into here because it's been designed so well to minimize surface water on these tiles. We've got the outdoor seating furniture here, and then this kind of modern horizontally paneled fencing done here rather than your kind of standard wooden timber fencing and then planting. And then as you're sat outside, it's just so, I'm just going to check if it's quiet. <laughs> As you're sat outside, it's just so peaceful and quiet in here. And from here, I can see the back of the property. I can see the, you know, the monochromatic, the black aluminium bifolding doors against the kind of the off-white render. I love that. And then obviously you've got the planting. It's a great place for barbecues and entertaining. And guys, we're actually touring this in December. Can you believe that? And look how beautiful the sky is, the sun is, and the view is from this area. Now let's scoot around because there's more house to show you. Let's get ready to go upstairs and I'll show you the bedrooms. So follow me. Now that we're on the landing slash first floor, I just wanna say we've now transitioned from the tiling that we saw and the underfloor heated uh, ground floor to the radiators on the first floor and this luxury vinyl tiling here. As you can see, it's like in a wood grain plank effect and it goes all the way through and you can see there's no kind of like ugly transition strips because it's just one material that continues but let me show you this room so this is one of the bedrooms on this floor as you can see large double bed yes guys look at all those comfortable cushions that beautiful pendant lampshade and then the bedsides uh lamps as well great reading lamps and you can control the light above from this position i love the terrazzo coasters there a bit of a hint for what's about to come and obviously the wall light um the wall art there love the focal point 
I just see so many things I love. So let's talk about this. We've got these beautiful shutters, which are kind of a nod to the traditional details. Now let me open this up and look how much light floods this space. Beautiful. But again, you have that privacy, that option of privacy with the shutters. And then these gorgeous sash windows, which the owner put in as kind of a nod to the history of the property. I absolutely love that quirk. Rather than having your typical kind of like casement windows that you see in pretty much every other property. You've got your wardrobe, open wardrobe system done in kind of like a Scandi Nordic theme as well. Very beautiful. And obviously it's a really eye-catching piece of furniture, mirror here as well. Behind the door, you can kind of like obviously make sure your outfit is complete before you leave. And then Yes, guys, did you hear my intro that there's two en-suites to the two bedrooms? Each bedroom has an en-suite. And because they've gone with luxury vinyl tiling, uh, luxury vinyl flooring, you can see that the wood grain effect can be carried straight into the en-suite without the transition strip again. And it's perfectly durable and it just feels so comfortable underneath your feet as well. So this is a three-piece suite. We've got ours sink there, our shower there, and our toilet. And then we've got a heated towel rail. Everything's done in this matte black. And then we've also got these to uh, porcelain tiles done in a terrazzo effect. So that was the hint earlier from the coasters. And I love the decor. It's so synchronized. I love the kind of the contrast of the edging strip as well, which um, is being done obviously to accentuate the space. Um, and then we've got the which is a curved corner shower with a rainfall attachment, a handheld attachment, and it's by Vardo, that brand, designer um, sanitary wear goods by Vardo. I love that. And I love this. This is so unique, so original, and it's just so modern. They definitely didn't have to do that. That's definitely an elevated detail. Again, you've got your um, toiletries there, your conditioner, shampoo, and your body wash replenished for you. So you don't have to bring that with you. You've got a shaver socket on that wall, sink with a mixer tap, and then hand wash, hand lotion, and then a mirror. Now, let me show the next bedroom. So coming back into the landing, we're gonna scoot over here. And now I'm gonna show you this bedroom. So I love plants as well. So it brings that kind of element of nature, that greenery into the space. Again, oh, I might have not mentioned tall ceilings again. Victorian properties often have tall ceilings and this property is no different. Again, you've got the shutters here. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow, did I mention it's December right now? We are just benefiting from gorgeous, gorgeous um, views of the garden and then the light flooding into this space. This is a king size bed. Yes, this bedroom is kind of elevated from the other one. You've got the same bedside table kind of like arrangement with the lights above, the wall mounted lamps and they're operable from the bed. So you don't have to get up to go and switch on or off the main light and then by the bed you've also got USB charge points and sockets for your iPads, your gadgets, everything's there. You've got a TV mount port there as well and sockets there as well. So through here we've got a storage space. So this if you wanted to kind of hide away your clothing, this is a perfect wardrobe space there got robes, toiletries, everything that would make your stay very comfortable. Next room and next area is over here. This is like a dressing area, maybe a workspace, a work, um, I was going to say, what is it called? Work from home space or uh, just, you know, just like a nice chill area where you can just kind of get ready. Also, you've got the USB charge points there as well. So we're not downgrading. We're definitely keeping the same specification across all the rooms. Now, now let me show you this. This is not your typical Airbnb, nor is it even your typical home. I think this is like hotel quality, hotel level of amenities. You've got a large square shower there, beautiful shower valve, rainfall, shower head, handheld shower device, and the toiletries. All of the sanitary wear is by Vardo. And then you've got this contemporary black screen, glaze screen. It is spotless. The level of cleanliness in this Airbnb is very, very high. Those gorgeous terrazzo tiles taken half height, Wow, Brian, look at that. 
freestanding tap. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. This is incredible. So again, the, the owner's obviously gone and specified top-notch designer brands and top-notch fittings. You've got your freestanding bathtub, which is against the wall on one side, but again, it's freestanding around all the other sides. And then it just looks so comfortable in there. The shutters as well for privacy, but again, you can have them open like we've shown you for light to flood in. You've got a little bit of a shelving area for decor or your own personal toiletries. Towel rail cleverly positioned right next to the bathtub. Duh. It's so well thought through. And then look at this. This is a beautiful floating vanity. Look at the size of that. And it's wall mounted. There's a little hook here as well for a handheld, you know, your towel, your face towel, or any kind of clothing. And then you mix a tap, toiletries there, hand wash, hand lotion, shaver socket again, and then the mirror. And that is the ensuite. So the final room in this property. And don't you think that's really impressive that we have all the space in this property? You wouldn't have guessed that when we first looked at it from the outside, right? So thank you so much for joining us and watching the tour all the way through. We're always interested in what you think. What did you think of the decor? Remember, it's a real house. So everything you see, including the towels, the bedding, is gonna be here when you experience this space. And it's bookable. So you can click the link in our description to find out more about this property to see photos, to see availability. I really hope you've enjoyed this tour. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like the video and leave us a comment so we can reply. But most of all, subscribe and then click one of these videos that's gonna pop up on the screen so we can see you in a moment's time. All right, bye.